Hey guys, Mark here. Well, welcome along again today to Paul Moto here in the south of England. And today we're taking out the Fantic Caballero 500 Scrambler. Stick around and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well, welcome along this afternoon guys to a review on a Fantic Caballero 500 Scrambler. Well, let's have a look around and just uh, talk through the specifications. So these come with a 449cc liquid cooled single four valve. Now the latest ones are Euro 5. Uh, this is a 2019 model, one of the first ones that came out. So this is probably Euro 4. It's got 40 horsepower at seven and a half thousand rpm and lots of low torque 43 newton meters torque at six thousand rpm so fantic are based in italy uh, but the uh, the motor in this is uh, made by the chinese giant zongshen apologies for the wind today it's really windy up here so these engines give really strong real world kind of punch LED headlamp there. Got a 12 litre fuel tank. These giving about 4.2 litres for 100 kilometres. That's about 67 miles per gallon UK. We've got a 110 section on the front tyre, 19 inch wheel. These are running Pirelli Scorpion tyres. We've got a 140 on the rear, 17 inch wheels. And these tyres are kind of dual sport tyres, so pretty good for a bit of a uh, light off-roading, I'd say. Six speed gearbox on these. Nice smooth shifting and an 820 millimeter seat height. And there is also an optional 840 mil taller seat. Have a look at me on the bike for a sec, to see how I fit it. I'm five foot seven tall, with a 30 inch inside leg. I come in at about 75 kilos. Nice and light these bikes, 150 kilos dry weight. So the power to weight ratio is very good. They really are good fun. Top speed of about 100 miles an hour. So these really are a highly capable retro scrambler. Very, very engaging to ride. Generally very, rel very reliable bikes, good reports from owners, they're very happy with them. Uh, interesting here, the exhaust is made in Italy by Arrow. It's a nice little touch. 3,000 mile service intervals on these, pretty much part of the course for Chinese bikes. They also do a flat track version and um, a rally version which is even more off-road biased which has got 50 mil longer travel suspension 
there's even a 125 version as well. Fantic Caballero 500 Scrambler. Let's do the test ride. Okay, Fantic Caballero 500 Scrambler. Let's try this out. So nice and easy to swing a leg over and comes off the side stand very easy, feels very light. So let's just run through the uh, switch gear and all the controls. You've got a um, non-adjustable for span cable clutch that feels nice and smooth. You've got very sort of basic switch gear here. You've got your sort of high and low beam, horn, ABS on and off, and a quite a quirky indicator switch which you push, you push like that to turn on to go say right, and then you have to push it to, to sort of kill it. To, Go like that so it's a bit fiddly a bit of a faff that um, on the other side you've got your engine start and engine kill and a non-adjustable for span front brake lever uh, cable operated throttle fuel injection obviously and a very dinky little display there showing clock speedo odometer this one this one's currently on 5300 miles and that's about it really all very simple stuff so fire it up so very, very throaty, very, very throbby. Cool. Really does sound like it's, you know, means business, this engine. All right, so easily into first gear, and away we go. So the clutch takes very, very early, that's nice. And as you'd expect of a 448cc single cylinder, it's got a lot of guts to it. So straight off from the bottom end, loads of grunt. God, this is fun. So lightweight, good power, nice and throaty. Yeah, I see what they mean about engaging handling. This is great. So this is kind of like a retro style scrambler. You could definitely use this to uh, do some light sort of light trails. It's got those Pirelli Scorpion tires. All right, so let's run through the bike. So the mirrors, pretty decent. Little little bit sort of vibration in them from the big single, but all in all, quite clear behind. I can see a little bit of my elbows, but not too bad at all. The so riding position. Yeah, pretty much motocross sort of style, very upright, very wide bars, um, so very nice upright position, loads and loads of legroom, so if you were taller than me, if you were sort of six foot, this bike would still be fine for you, but the bike just feels like it's so light, it feels like 125cc lightness beneath you, so loads of, loads of pull from that engine from low RPM gearbox is very positive just opening it up a bit now so there's a very very easy 60 as I said top speed on this is around about 100 miles an hour down the gearbox engine sounds great with the occasional pop and bang from the exhaust front single disc by um, a by Brie, which means by Brembo. Right, so open road time now. It's going to open it up through the gears. Oh, plenty of pull. So we're top gear now, sixth gear. Just doing a nice gentle sort of 55. Engine sounds very relaxed at this speed. It's just something away beneath me. Tons of character. And actually very, very good handling. Upside down forks feel very good. We'll look at those a bit more on the walk round. Front brake feels excellent. We'll try that out a bit later on. So mirror's good. Riding position very upright. Very, very light, as I said. You can really hang off it and have some fun round the bends on this. Opening it up. Right, let's slow this right down. Down into fourth. 40 miles an hour. Just see how this pulls. So fourth gear, wide open throttle. 
there's your 50 and there's your 60 so yeah it's um 40 odd horsepower works really well but it's the torque of it it's just pulls really strongly seat comfort i've been on this for about an hour so far very very pa nicely padded seat lots of room get your feet down easily if you're not that tall like myself so uh, yeah seat feels lovely all right we'll just try a brake test out full front brakes yeah very very good totally acceptable one good marks for those it's a very very willing engine I say it's made by a Zongshen, a Chinese company. I know they've been uh, making thousands of these engines, so they're, they're very proven, good, reliable units. Back brake, quite good as well, that's nice. So let's just cruise along about 50. Just drop it down to fifth, a little bit happier. Vibration-wise, you can definitely feel it's a big thumping single. It's not super smooth like, say, a um, Royal Enfield Meteor. It's definitely some vibes coming through the pegs and the handlebars, but not really a deal breaker. Just adds to the character, really. It's just quite a Larry engine to a, a town now. Let's see how the Caballero handles that. Just going down the gearbox. All very easy and slick and positive. Second gear into third gear. So we're just going along at 30. See if it'll take fourth gear at 30. Yeah, just about. So fueling is nice. There's a little tiny bit of hunting, a little bit of lumpiness. But I do believe on the newer model they've um, done a good update to the ECU, updated the valves, all that sort of stuff to make it even better and smoother at low RPM. But on the whole, it's going along pretty nicely. Throttle response, it's nice, it's not, it's not too snatchy. It's got that power constantly there, it's lovely. I think the thing with this is it's got that punchy 40 horsepower engine with not a lot of weight feels like a 125 to be honest and um, so that means it's just it's just fun it really is like look there's nothing to it <laughs> so really nice commanding upright position you can see over everything nice wide bars help with steering so yeah if you had to ride to work on this guys or um, do some commuting going to the shops that sort of thing it's nice and if you wanted to do some a uh, little bit of green laning off-road you could do that as well so I'd say the Caballero is absolutely fine in town it's actually really good fun oh lovely lovely willing engine really is good so this one's currently on 5,000 miles no problems at all I've been told with this one so uh nice dependable engine nice depend dependable engines finish all looks pretty good on it we'll have a look around on the walk around a bit later but oh, so far so good guys all right guys just coming out of town now just uh winding it open in fourth oh doesn't it go what an awesome noise I love the sound of a big throaty single. So let's talk about the ride quality. Uh, quite long travel suspension front forks, even longer on the rally version. They're doing a really good job actually. The road, road holding quality of the ride is lovely. It's um, very, very plush. Obviously this is no sports bike, but for general sort of riding like this, very enjoyable. There's no nasty shocks coming up through the bike at all or anything like that. So yeah, rear suspension feels nice, nice and supple, well damped. So yeah, top marks of the suspension. 
we just try that front brake out again. So that the brakes are Bybury, which means by Brembo, so very strong there. Right, first gear to a Very impressive acceleration. Hi right, guys, we'll just um we'll go on to a dual carriageway in a bit just to see how the um Cavalera handles higher speeds. Right, so we're just gonna try out the uh, Cavalero's higher speed cruising ability. We're in top gear now, just winding open the power. So very easy, 70 indicated. Opening it up, loads more power if you needed to do some overtakes. So it's very windy today, and this is quite a light bike. There's a little bit of movement in the bike, you know, it's, it's, it's small and light. But on the whole, it's holding its line very well. Wind blast obviously is a naked bike, upright, it's actually quite acceptable, it's just a smooth blast coming against my chest. Vibrations at this sort of 70 mile an hour speed are absolutely fine. It's, it's a very throbby kind of throaty motor, but there's a little bit, little bit of a buzz coming through the foot pegs. Nothing, nothing through the seat and a little bar, buzz through the bars, but on the whole, generally quite smooth I just pull over a little bit we'll just drop it down to a 60 so all those vibes are pretty much gone now and that's actually a sort of a happier speed to cruise at really but if you had to do some distance on this absolutely no problem at all I'm sure it's got a good tank range so there you are guys Fantic Caballero pretty decent at higher speeds. Oh, so well, all in all I've been uh, very impressed with this bike. I've never ridden a fan tick before. I've seen them about. So if you're in the market for, you want something not too expensive, you want something with character, it's got that nice kind of scrambler look about it. You may even do a bit of off-roading now and again. Yeah, it's going to give good economy, I'd say about 70 miles per gallon. Maybe give one of these a look. I mean, uh, the obvious competitor is uh, Ducati uh, Scrambler, same sort of thing. But now uh, this, uh, this fares very well. But it's just the lightweight handling combined with that punchy motor, it's great. what it's like around here. Yeah, Scorpion tyres feel good. The nice thing is that we're in winter at the moment here and uh, you know you've got leaves on the roads and everything's a bit wet and slippy. These sort of bikes make sense through the winter because you've got the sort of dual purpose tyres. So yeah it's great. Pulling very strongly up this hill. Just wrap it up now. Yeah that is a that's a blast that is, it really is good fun. That exhaust sounds great on the overrun, it popples and pops and crackles. See what it's like into neutral. There you go. Give, give you a little look at that dash. And a little bit of a sound test. Oh, sounds brilliant. There you are. So we'll just look round the uh, switch gear again for you. So that, that indicator switch does take a bit of getting used to, <laughs> especially with big thick gloves, but that's fine. It's all very simple stuff on this. Decent size stand, that's nice. There you go. All right, see what it's like to push off the side stand. Oh, it's very, very light, very light indeed. and an absolute doddle 
to manoeuvre, look, look at that. How easy can that be? Excellent. Alright, let's have a final walk round, shall we? So, LED lights. Don't think those indicators are LEDs, can't quite see from here. But yeah, very, very good upside down forks on these. They look to be non-adjustable, but they give a good uh, good damping, good tyres, Pirelli Scorpions. And there's the engine. So considering this bike's done a couple of winters by the previous owner, um, 5,000 miles, you know, a few bits of rust here and there, but you could easily clean that up a bit. But generally, the finish all looks pretty good. Nice paintwork there. So good strong brakes by Brie. Lovely. I must admit the paintwork quality on the tank looks like excellent. There's your front brake. ABS is standard. And there you are guys. Fantic Caballero. What are your thoughts about that little beastie? Have you got one? How's it going? Uh, a really good, good choice one of those. I think if you were looking for this sort of style of scrambler sort of machine, I haven't actually thought about these, but uh, yeah, it's got me thinking now. Anyway, post your comments down below guys as always. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Catch you again in a week or so. Alright, ride safe guys, all the best and bye bye for now.